Conversations across time. Conversations across cross time. Conversations across time. Conversations across time. Conversations across time. Conversations across cross time. Conversations across time. Conversations across cross time. Conversations across time. Conversations across cross time. Conversations across time. God, I'm so confused right now. I, I don't understand what's going on. My baby is gone. <laughs> they took my baby. I'm so angry right now. My heart hurts because they took my only child. Oh God, I need answers, please. Please, God, I, I, I need answers. That's all I need. Okay. Mom? Mom, you hear me? Baby, I hear you. <laughs> Why are you down there crying? It's understand. It hurts so bad. Sometimes you have to suffer through pain to get through the future and a great future. You may be in pain now, but one day you will realize that it was all worth it. I was the sacrifice. Now. And you gotta go now. You stay strong, Mama, and I love you, and I will always love you, and keep my memory alive. I love you too, baby. I love you too. Good evening. Welcome to another episode of Conversations Across Time. Our panel tonight includes Mr. Emmett Till, who has been here with us for the past two weeks. Thank you for. Coming back, Mr. Till. Thank you, ma'am. Seated next to him is his mother, Mrs. Till. Welcome once again. Thank you. And seated next to Mrs. Till is Theodore Herzl. Um, I'm giving you these brief explanations. Theodore Herzl is, of course, the father of modern Zionism. Good to be back. And he's a frequent guest on the show. Seated next to Mr. Herzl is President Franklin Delano Roosevelt. President Roosevelt also is a frequent guest on the show. 
And of course, to my left, as always, is Babette Joseph. She's always here. It's my our co-host, and we are so grateful that she's feeling better and she's here with us. Oh, thank you. So uh, tonight, uh, you'll understand why we asked these panelists to stay to discuss this. I want to talk about Jacqueline Cow, my queen. She was a seven-year-old Guatemalan girl who made her way to this country with her father. And she died December 6, 2018. And while the autopsy has not been completed, one of the things that was the problem with Jacqueline had to do with her being dehydrated. But she was in U.S. custody and did not get the health care that she needed at the time. So with that, I want to talk about... Um, health care, it sounds like she needed <laughs> water. Well, right. Wa water, absolutely. Right. But we are presently... You would think you could find water for a seven-year-old, wouldn't you? Yes, you would but, but wait a minute. Do you understand that they had um, video of men Water standing. patrol, water patrol yeah. agents. Pouring bottles of water out the ground. Yeah. that they have were, been left by Good Samaritan for, right. for to, to help these people because you're, we're going through a desert. Yes, yes. And U.S. Border Patrol officers are Under throwing out. Under orders of our president, undoubtedly. Correct. Mm -hmm. I believe that. They wouldn't do it on their own. They right. had orders. Right. As soon as the scene, there's they, people they, who support them. Their right. attitude. Uh, uh, Stephen Miller uh, before and Stephen Jess Miller is with the is with the ad administration. The thing that I think about Stephen person. every time I see him, I think, oh my God, it's a Jew. Well, and you would think he had more humanity because you of would the, think he had a brain, right? Uh, the, right. I don't study right. it, but you know, but the, that's the, the, their attitude, their, their policy is, the more uh, harm they can inflict on these immigrants. Will it's act as a deterrent. Them. Right. Exactly. Will act as a deterrent. Like it others coming our here. Our ancestors. Yeah. Right. 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 So right. That, that's the attitude. So that, in fact, if you listen to some of the um, administration spokesmen uh, uh, about the death, yes, they almost justify it. They, they, there's no. Uh, That'll be a lesson to bring in all of the coyotes. Exactly what they do. It's exactly what they know not to do. Right, but right, putting in the a, fear, it, like it, they did. They should right. all be shot. And, and also the separation. And if you notice now, there. In fact, I uh, I saw recently it was uh, maybe the night before. They're, they are putting. Numbers. Permanent numbers. markers. N numbers on the, the just like just like the just uh, like concentration the camps. Right. Yes. They're putting the numbers on, you know. So I mean, you, I not saw branding them. Mm -hmm. They're it's not, not branding them. They're not branding them. Right. It's not, it's not a, it's a permanent marker, but it still reminds you of uh, it's uh, horrible. Of, uh, it's the horrible. Holocaust and the concentration mm -hmm. camps. When the, and when the whole they separate, tattooed. The whole right. separation policy it was to make it, you know, uh, to dehumanize, uh, dehumanize right. it and make it not palatable Humans for do the people not to get come. But, but you know what? I, I have a question. Now, maybe in the when when the Holocaust happened, they were probably using ink in the beginning too, but it was just rubbing off. Maybe I don't know. You know, know, like, they did. Well, because it, we, it we seems did, to me we, it just keeps getting progressively we did worse. A, we, did a show, we did a show about that, yeah. and one of the, the Germans are way more efficient than this Romanian administration, they so yes. they, right. they, they probably they figured they out doing. if you if you use that, uh, well, they didn't have markers, but whatever else right. you use, it will wear off, and they kept records they were in fact one Details. of the one, one of, the, yes, uh, one of the, the panelists on the show said that the nazis never lost the jew so you know yeah. there you go and that they, that they had everybody under they had, they had in this policy the, the policy by the way this immigration policy that's in place now is really based on on a tremendous lie and yes. it's all it's only been implemented to plant fear right in right in the people that are fearful because right. of what the president tells them to be fearful of. That's what. That's that's what. I mean, it's just a dog whistle. Mm. Make America great again, and make America white again. Yes. Right. We, we right. Right. That so that's also. exactly so, what so that meant. But that's going to change. But the point is that that, that that is how you attack this issue by helping those countries. And the, the president of Mexico already had said, in the, "Let's get the United States and South American countries, and let's all dedicate resources to these three countries." So that these people, they wouldn't they leave if they had, a, right. if they had a good economic system, right. if they were safe Who in their country. They wouldn't right. leave. 
Yeah. You have yeah, to have some kind of rules. Especially with what we're going but more through. Right, exactly. You have to make you know, sure why that people with, are happy and safe in their country. It's a part of, a part of the, the North American Treaty for Christ's sake. But to counteract know. that, though, I, I mean, do you feel like we got to take um, care of home first? Because... Um, you can't oh. take you, you you can't take care of the world until you take care. I of know. I hear you, and I right. hear that as 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 an argument. But you can do but, both. But there's no there's nothing to say that improving the conditions in Guatemala and in Nicaragua and it, 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 there's nothing to say that improving the conditions there means that you can't do anything in the United States. It's not an either or. No. Right. And so, so oh, oh, yeah, I, I totally, yes. I, I, I'm, I'm just saying like, like first, we have to solve the issues here before or doesn't overseas. Be, no, no, it doesn't have to be first, that's what I'm saying. I mean, it doesn't have to be sequential. It can happen yeah. concurrently. Right. The you, 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 you're right, you're right. stimulates the economy more sure. than it, it, it siphons out from the economy. They, 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 don't forget the people come. They, they get jobs, they have to Not buy food, they, they have to buy clothes. Most of them right. like intellectual. By the, by the way, they do jobs that I people mean, don't want to do. Right. So right. You don't yeah. want right. to pick cotton anymore, right? Right. Okay, I don't want to pick vegetables. <laughs> no. right. You know what I mean? I, I hate well, this. Too. I don't want to be a winner. Yeah. No, I don't want to be a busboy. And, and that, that's why, you know, Trump married that's the immigrants because his wives, American wives, didn't want to do I mean, the immigrant Okay, so, so, so but, you suggest. No, that, I'm saying that, that, that whatever you're saying, oh, 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 there's oh. a racial component. Well, well I, I was talking, about, talking to, to the president. president. Yeah. So you suggest that you know all the the countries get, get together. Like I guess if we're dealing with South, you know, South America, 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 yeah. America. So if, if we, well, we if we pretty much come together and, and we try to figure out things, when well, no, when, when, no, when you say figure out things, some of the things are very basic. There is the problems of the gangs, the okay. drug gangs. Right. All right. So that. We have, with the idiot, I, I'm sorry, but with the current occupant of the White House, presently thinks he would, he would dispatch American troops to the borders to keep Thinking. the cap, this imaginary right. caravan. Thinking there's something to, he doesn't think. Keep drugs out. To yeah, keep right. drugs out. But mm -hmm. what would happen if, because a lot of the gangs that are happening in these countries has to do with drugs, tis true, but it's an, it's an economic issue. Yeah. So what happens if you take that military that you want to be down there saying that you, we can't, can't come in. You can't come in. What happens if we take them there with all of their know-how and they train these people how to plant crops that would support them? Yeah. But weren't they, we've weren't done they doing that in, in the Columbia. Middle East, though? We, we did it in Colombia. We rid, we rid Colombia of all the drug cartels. But didn't we try that in the Middle East? No, hold on. Let, let him finish this. Okay, I'm sorry. We do, we, with, with the, when you're talking about that with, the, with Colombia, Colombia ended up being in much better shape now because we made a concerted effort. And we can do the same thing in Guatemala, but, but in Honduras. Sir, we can do that. question we can. And it's, a, it's really our responsibility but, as, a, to do as that. really the, the leader of the free world. You're, you're separating the, this administration's uh, immigration well, policy. Well, First of all, it started with the Muslim ban. Right. Yes. Right. All right. right. And the right. excuse Which was you got to keep the Muslims right. out because point. they're yeah. terrorists. Right. 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 So there's a racial component to that, and the terrorist is an excuse because the, right. con the, con the, the country that People he allowed the most immigrants, the Muslim country that uh, the <laughs> Trump administration allowed the most immigrants to come from was Saudi Arabia, which right. is where the terrorists which came the terrorists from. Which the terrorists came from. Right. So, yeah. so but they're more or less light skinned. Right. Right. The, right. There's a racial right. component right. to that. So now, so pretty much that Muslim, the darker you are, the, the harder you fall. That, right. Right. Exactly. Well, like I, the Ethiopian. If you want, if you want my, 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 you make it simple, the further any group gets away from white, Anglo-Saxon, Protestant, right. Right. you're going to find more restrictions, immigration right. restrictions, the things inside the country, and that people are going to fight it. I mean, the Irish are white. Why were they uh, discriminated against when they came here? Because they were Catholics and the right. Irish people were Protestant. Jews the were Jews, white. The, the, right, the Jews were. And the, the, the problem with the assimilation of African Americans, Mexican Americans, Latin Americans, and Muslims is that it's harder for them to assimilate. An Irish guy could change his name from O'Hara right. to Harry. 
right. a Jewish man can take it from Goldstein to gold. Mm -hmm. Right. The, the black guys or, or black woman is always going to be black. The Muslims. Right. We can't change. Well, Muslims, that's a religion. I don't know that that fits in your category. Well, yeah, because but Muslims but are saying, black and white. Correct. But don't, don't, for, don't forget, and, and in, in discrimination and in, in anti-Semitism especially, they use religion and race interchangeably. Oh, yes. I mean, they would yes. talk You're about right? Jews right. as being a race. Right. And, and people well, talk it's very about. Complicated I know. Jews I'm just are, saying. But so, but but uh, I, uh, you Jews can't. Jews don't just, know what Jews I, are. I, I I know, but 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 the the, the anti Semites consider they Judaism know. a race, not a religion. Yes, they right. really do. Right. right. But but one of the one of the things that that we have to look at is they want to keep black people down. Yes. And they want to keep brown people out. Out. I mean, right. To make yeah. it real simple. Right. Well, well they're afraid. Right. First of all, they're women. With voting interest. Right. They're afraid that they're well, well, right. Right. Well, exactly. Democratic. And, 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 so and go, of even course going, they want to keep even going, this going, back, going back, going back to, right. to John Adams. They passed an act called the Alien oh, and yes, Sedition yes, Act yes, right. to, to restrict immigration because the immigrants were voting for the Democratic right. Republicans and yeah. not the Federalists. So it goes back to to 1790. Yep. There can be common sense. Sure limits on immigration. I mean, you don't have to let everybody right. into the country. Right. There can be common yeah. sense limits. Right. But it goes way beyond that. And looking at this I'm administration, not so sure by the way, Ob Obama, I'm, I mean, he, he sent a lot of people back, by the way. You know, yeah. Right. He yeah. But he also back. did Brown the, the people, DACA, sent them back. too. Mm. But he did it. He, he sent the ones back that had committed real crimes, not, not the crime of a, right. a parking ticket or whatever. The criminals, and he sent those back, and he should have sent them back. Yeah, violent, so violent. what we need, we need comprehensive but fair immigration laws. And we also need to do what I said before, is that to, to make these things work so that thousands and thousands of people don't, don't attack our border. I mean, it really, right. it President really does disrupt our services and whatever. We have to help those countries to, so these people will want to stay where, where they live. Do we need a wall? Do we need a five billion dollar wall, President? No. Of no, course no, not. No. But by the way, the wall's not five billion. That's just a down payment yes. for right. a thirty-five billion dollar right. wall. He wants to build. No, right. the wall's ridiculous because the drugs. But are, why does he? Drugs but, under the wall. but doesn't he want Mexico to pay for it? Oh, right. yeah. he hasn't yeah. heard the news, yeah, the right. latest. No, he wants Mexico to pay. For he, it. They're going to pay. I mean, that's what he said. But he said that to a base. Mm -hmm. uh, he said it to yeah. his base. He was a, was a dog whistle, it. and they, they've already forgotten about it. We're the ones that keep saying, "I thought you said Mexico was going exactly. to pay." Right. Yeah. But, right. but but they're his they're on to something else. Mm -hmm. they, they are they, now on to something else. You understand? So that <clears throat> we have to look at it from the standpoint of the narrative keeps changing. It's like a shell game. Have you ever seen a shell game? You just keep what where where where, where is the little uh, where's like the, the coin? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but, but like comes, George Orwell. We but live in a what? George Orwell novel. We're, yeah, but it comes back to common sense. Yes. Common sense tells you you've made that statement to me prior to. Do you see what I'm saying? Yep. And it's like we have lost the 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 common sense. Ability. I don't know that we've lost it. We just have somebody running the country who doesn't. No, I'm talking about yeah, the other people. They, they don't, they're not using common sense. Well, because they're afraid they're going to get fired. You know, that's this what is he such does, a, right? What's going on now in politics? People are voting It's such more. an anomaly. I mean. Yeah, people it, are voting beyond, more. It, that's good. Yeah, it's beyond, that, that's it's great. It's beyond belief that, that a person who has no ability whatsoever to be a president, by the way. I mean, right. He doesn't, anything. He doesn't right. read. He's not intelligent. Mm -hmm. Right. And he as mean and nasty as he is, I mean, and, and it shows and in, in, his yes. in, in his administration, he <laughs> can't hire anybody because nobody wants to work for him. Right. He, so, he doesn't respect the Constitution or the rule of law. He respects only dictators. I mean, this is something I it's never, disaster. ever thought would happen in this country. And well, there are actually, people who, your founding fathers, the people that wrote the Constitution, anticipated that. Of That's course. why they put some of the checks in the Constitution. Yes. That's right. why checks. everything that Trump's doing, they anticipate. And in fact, I read a really good uh, article the, commenting on the Federalist Papers. They said the founders, Hamilton and uh, uh, James Madison, would have been surprised that it took, it took us so long right. to Absolutely get a like Trumpster. That. Oh okay. oh, okay. To get okay. That, that, that they thought it would happen that's much faster. That the system works, worked right. better than they right, right. Than they that, that the country worked better, but they were they anticipated the the emoluments yes. clause. 
Right. They, 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 they insisted on that because they knew the, the dangers of that. Well, we were dealing with George the III. Right, right. right. But look so, what's so happened. So I'm saying they, they would be surprised that it took over it's 200 long. years for it to happen. Because of the checks and balances and because of the country that we live in and what we stand for, there are presently 17 separate criminal investigations against Trump and every oh, yeah. orbit that has ever been yes. in oh, yeah. business and everything They're else. all going down. And the vote in this last election was overwhelmingly mm -hmm. in favor of putting restraints on them by putting Democrats in, in the House of Representatives yes. to do that. Right. Well, the new so you're going to see over the next the few new years Trump more tower, more pressure. The new Trump Tower is going to be at Attica. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Very good. There you go. It's, really not, it's going to be in some cushy. Place, probably in Danbury, but yeah, it's inside oh, the Oh, Alan Wood. What's Alan Wood doing? Trump one? Trump Danbury. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah, Trump Danbury. I'm just he's getting a license fee for it. But anyway, <laughs> he right. probably will. I just wonder what, what would he have done, you know, if uh, he was president during when, when I died or whatever. Because it just seems like... Oh, no. Then oh, you're, then, first of all, there would have been no civil rights movement right. because your mother would not have been able to have the coffin open so that it could he be in sure all of the news closed. because exactly. he would have killed all the journals. He would have just right. done away with Ebony and Jet, which is the press that came out. And right. They were the first photographers to come. It was the black that's press. A, and then yeah, the other a, press started to pick no, it up. No, no, that, that, that's true. And, and that's the scary thing because if it weren't for the black press, Yes. The Times and Time right. Magazine, which later they on I think picked it up, they wouldn't have picked it exactly. up. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Because Jet, Jet was the first one to come. Yes. But the yes. interesting thing about that is back From to when first. we were talking a few weeks ago, if you remember, we were talking about the, 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 the crime against Jamal Khashoggi and what yes. happens when we don't protect journalists. Right. How else right. do we know what is going, going on? on. Well, That's freedom true. of the press is right there, right in the front part first, of the Constitution. Yes. So. Freedom of the press, but also the authenticity. Like, authenticity? Yeah, authenticity, right. because there's a lot of fake, fake news right yeah, here. There is, there is. <laughs> but I you mean, know what? I wonder, wonder, but I wonder, if, wonder if, if, but I wonder if, in that inquiry, if, yeah. Yeah. Trump's, I mean, if some of Trump's people, the Russians, planted those a lot of that fake news. Well, wait a minute. We're right now. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm thinking. Let me just say this for the audience. We are taping, and it's December 18th. 2018. I believe, and I think all of you visiting from your historical perches will witness that the unraveling is coming because just as President Roosevelt said, there's 17 investigations going on right. around this man and in right. his orbit. So that there are so many things that are coming to light. And one of them is the National Enquirer because he ends up mm -hmm. being friendly with someone who is, is, is uh, practicing in a way that Really was putting out fake news. Yes, right. really right. putting out. And, and so this man has in his safe so many stories that have not come out. Right. But you okay. know, part, that's part of the deal that Pecker has made. And Cohen. And, 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 and Cohen. Cohen. Right. Right. right, right. And everybody else. So. And, and but the is first, Hunter the Pence first, even better? Well, now that, now that Pecker is turned who, on uh, Trump, Pence, he's Pence, ready the, to the, state right. witness, right? Oh, no. Yes. Trump Pence said he's a real Pence's dick. No, yeah. <laughs> Pence is... But see, that, then that, then now you're going back to the the the, the you you pick the no, best of, of two evils yeah, sure. between Pence and, and and Trump. That's what I'm saying. It, it, because you Pence, is, Prince, Pence is more presidential I think than Pence Trump. Is worse. Oh, yeah, he I think he, he is too. That's, that's what I'm saying. But, but I think, think he acts. And you get rid of Trump, we still got Pence right there. there. Here's the thing that's with the, whole the press. You can't expect, and we got all this media, and, and, and you got the fake news with, with Facebook, and you got the Russian, right. uh, you know, putting in stuff to, to depress the black. But you can't, if you have free press, you're, you're never going to be able to regulate fake news on what's... So we right. have to educate people to have bullshit detectors to be yes. able to look at But not up only that, but research. <laughs> research. Yeah. But no, Common but that's, sense. that Common is sense. what, excuse me, folks, that's what we do here. That's we our use, That's our that's job. Our, that's right. our, we take that as our mission to put forth information. We don't tell you how to think. Right. We just want to make sure you are thinking. That, that's but exactly we, right. We put out information so that you are able to discern for yourself. We can't make you do anything. Right. We can't make right. you do we anything. We, and that's right. not our job. That's not <laughs> what we aim for. What we aim for is to give you additional information so that you can, with that information, make an informed decision. Which might be different than ours. Right. Right. Which right. is but, fine. Right. Which but, is fine. But, uh, that's okay. But as, Which is fine. As long as we don't 
confuse facts with opinion. Yes, we right. give yes. opinions, but right. and when, we, when it's a fact, we say it's a fact. And as long as we respect the other person's opinion, as long as it's based on factual background. And we respect that the other person has the same rights. That Absolutely. We have. Absolutely. Oh, right. So right. what's right. going to happen if, you know, Trump is found guilty on everything, get, he gets put that's out. Well, well let me say this. That's another show. We are, we are actually at the end of this episode. And the interesting thing is, as I said, this, we're, we've taped this show on December 18, 2018. I can't imagine. I can't imagine what's going to unfold in, within the next six weeks. I believe right. it's going to be extraordinary. Right. But there's still going to be the, the, the recurring problems that we all discussed today. Even if Trump is removed, even right. if he is indicted, they're going to, you're going to still have an immigration problem. Yes. You're still going to have oh, voter suppression have problem. Right. 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 So, so, so we got. We did elect him. There hasn't been meaningful immigration <laughs> legislation over 30 years. Right. right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you're still going to have the problem. I agree. I agree. And, so, and whatever is wrong with him is wrong with us too. So we. Have I know. To I get agree. And, and and I think. He, uh, Emmett brought up something earlier, but the thing is, it, it, the immigration part is really not about them. It's about what this country is and what right. we are. Yes. Right. And I think he brought that up, and I yes. think that was yes. a good point. But it is good to know that even, you know, we are at a struggling part, like, in our history, you know, with our country. It's good to know that people still want to come here. I mean, that says a lot about that, other people's countries. Well, no, right? what are their options? But that's another show. Yeah. We are going to say to you, this has been Conversations Across Time. I thank my guest, Mr. Emmett Till. I thank his mother for coming and allowing us to share in an understanding of how she was feeling when she made that momentous decision to open the coffin, to let the world see what lynching was and right. what, what racism was. Thank you. And, and uh, Mr. Theodore Herzl, as always. Good to be back. It's, it's, it's good to have you here it, to give us some insight and some perspective in terms of how things are happening now. President right. Roosevelt, you know, you're, you're our hero. Babette and I, every, every time you're on the show, it's, it's like, oh, President Roosevelt's going to be on. So, um, I love being here, by the way. <laughs> and there's, there's, there's so much that your policies did for this country. And, yes. we, we, and, and what we want to do is acknowledge that and then see where, what's the next step. Is that right, Babette? Yes, absolutely. The, okay. Things have changed. I mean, he saved us. Yeah. He saved us once, but we have to save ourselves now. Yes. Yeah. With that, good night. I'm Vivian Crawford. It's been Conversations Across Time. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to you coming back next week. Good night. Conversations Across Time. Conversations Across Cross Time. Conversations Across Time. Conversations Across Time. Conversations Across Time. Conversations Across Cross Time. Conversations across time, conversations across cross time, conversations across time, conversations across cross time, conversations across time, conversations across cross time, conversations across time.